this video I'm making because I haven't seen any videos about how to put this differential back in this Ford F-150. See, I'm doing it on my back. Everybody says you need a, uh, they say you need a, um, a lift to do this. And I've done everything on my back. I've already done the, you have to do the back first. You put the blocks in the back and then you, and then you come to the front. But anyway, I already tore everything apart. And now I'm trying to get this drive shaft back in. You know, I already cut over there. See right here? Way over there, I cut that out already. And that wasn't too bad. But uh, dropping the differential, I used that jack right there. And three two by fours on top of that jack because it was, it was pretty high up. And then I, um, I had, you have to, when you pull it out, it actually has to come this way because you have to clear that thing that you're cutting out over there. So it has to come this way and down. So I had my son grab, he grabbed here and kind of helped me because you have to, you have to get this out of that there and it hangs up. So once you clear that, where is it at? Right here. Once you clear that with that, you can come this way with everything and then let gravity you know, let that jack down and it just falls right down. And it wasn't, it wasn't that hard. I mean, I let the jack do the work because the, the, uh, I had it underneath the, where that other jack is. See, right now I'm using the Ford jack that came with it to put it back in place. But, but what I'm doing now, all I used was this jack to take it out though. I just, I just balanced it. It, it was this, did, this did all the work. And we just balanced it on the center point there with, like I said, three two by fours on top of that. So anyway, now I'm putting it back. So what I decided to do was, because I'm just I'm by myself now. So what I did was I put this cross member in. You know, like I said, I already did the cutting over there. So I put this side of the cross member in, and I got the nut on the other side. See, <clears throat> and I got it on the ground. I had it on the ground and I put and I put the differential up there I'm gonna go around the other side I also put this bracket on this brackets ready to go in that hole so I almost got it up there right now and I was gonna use zip ties to help me balance it but I decided to do it this way so I stuck this one bolt in there and I had to lift that end up kind of to get the differential parallel with that cross member kind of that's why that other jack is there that's all i was doing with that one was the light is bright over there and it, so i was lifting that side up you know i had it at a little i had it about where it is well it's actually off it now but that's that's as high as i had the jack was as high as it is now but i had it at the angle to get this bolt in so once i got that bolt in i didn't put it all the way through I'm going to have to back it out a little bit because it goes through this hole that you drill. See that? That hole that you drill after you cut, you know, it's in the instructions, but after you cut everything, that hole doesn't support anything. It's just for this. This is this supports it. I've seen people say, oh, you, you put the hole, you put it too far to the end, but it doesn't matter because that bolt, this holds, this is holding it up, not that. And these will bolt here. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I almost got it up there. So I'm going to jack it up a little bit more with that four jack. And I'm going to put it into place there. And. Well, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack it up a little bit higher. And I'm going to try to stick that in up there. That's my next step is put that and that here and those which I probably can do actually right now. So I'll put that bolt in there and, and have it at this angle and then I'll lift it the rest of the way up. But I have to pause because I'm... You see, all I need is that much. Oh. 
almost got it, but I can't do it with one hand. I'm trying. See, I have it up there. I'm gonna lift it a little bit more. I'm gonna have to pause and do it so you're not gonna be able to see that. Then I'll come back. I'm gonna go. I tried to do it. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna go back around and jack it up a little bit more because it doesn't want to. It's actually hitting right there. Let's see. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher. Check out how I'm jacking it. I got my impact. I got a 24 millimeter. And I look at that. And if if this looks dangerous to you, that's because you ain't ever been poor before. You understand? Actually, it's, uh, I need to, I don't know. Actually, it needs to go back that way, too, see? I'm going to slide it back, but I'm going to have to have two hands. See, I only need a little bit further. See, that bolt hole goes through there. Oh. One, something over there. It's still hitting, but I don't see why. 